Hey guys, some days ago, I think it was on Friday, I was talking about the roadmap of MobingQ for this new quarter of 2020. Some of those features, I, I, I was expecting them for some weeks from now, but today we've launched some of those things and I'm super happy to announce that we just started the transition to the new interface of MobingQ. So if you want to know more, check this video. Hi everyone, I'm super excited tonight because a few hours ago we officially started the transition to the new interface. Two days ago, I made this video to announce the roadmap of this first quarter of 2020. And today we have some of this news. So, well, I said that we were going to launch a new feature today. Uh, I didn't expect to being launching at two features today, but let me talk to you about these new two features because this is the way we are starting this transition to the new interface so that in less than two months, we want everyone to use the new interface as the main interface of Moving Cube. So, well, for now, it's you, you still have to access front.movingcube.com. Well, I guess you saw the other video where I was explaining about this interface. So I'm logging with my account and I'm going to show you this news. So, well, I, ha I have this app already open. Uh, first, I'm going to start uh, talking about this new feature that I announced that it was going to be launched today on Monday or Tuesday, okay? And it was called the, the element list panel. It's this one here that you see, this is new. Uh, if you see in the window menu, you can close it or open it from here. Okay, so basically this panel contains the hierarchical list of all the elements that I have in my screen here or in my uh, detail screen. Okay, so yeah, and basically from here, from this menu, I can just select one of the elements or most of, I mean, more than one and I, I could del delete them or I could use this thing to change the order of things. For example, if I have a table, I can switch the order of cells, for example, okay? And well, this might not look useful only for this, okay? But the thing is that um, with the new interface, a lot of people were having trouble when selecting cells or tables, or if an element was too small, maybe it was like overlapping some other element and sometimes it was difficult to to select some things so from here if i just select one element okay this element will be selected here so inside this element i can select one text or another ah it's here inside this cell okay if i select this this text the element here will be selected so i will always know where uh, where i am when editing the app. Okay, so this is very useful. Um, yeah, and I can flip the order. I can move things from outside a table to inside another table, for example. Okay, so here everything is getting messy, but if you see this situation where everything gets really messy, okay, you can, from this panel, you can easily arrange the content nicely again, okay? Uh, from here, it will be very difficult to start moving tables and rows and cells and things like that, but from here, you can fix it very easily. So you have the table here, you can switch cells inside. Oh, I made a mistake. Where did I put my cell? Oh, it is here. I didn't see it. So I'm going to fix it. Okay, so here's my... When I moved the cell out of this table, it created a, another table. So I'm just going to take this cell and I'm going to move it back to the original table. 
Okay, now I have this empty table, so I can just click here and, no, not here, only this element and delete it. Okay, so now everything starts fixing. And I, here I have the original table, so I'm going to move the table outside. Okay, so you see that everything was fixed. This looks like magic. I mean, uh, in the past with the new interface, uh, without this panel of the element list, it was impossible to fix that. Okay, but now I could make it. So, yeah, so this is the first feature. Uh, well, another thing is that you can even drag and drop elements. For example, you can just select an image from here. Uh, you know that you can just drop it here, but you can also drop it here. Okay, so it's more accurate for putting things and dra dragging and dropping things. Okay, so yeah, basically this is the first functionality. I said it was going to be launched today or, or maybe on Tuesday. So here it is. This feature is going to make um, the addition of, the, of your apps in the new interface much, much easier for you. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about the other thing, about the transition. So this is part of the transition, but the real transition for the new interface is somewhere in the screen. I'm not sure if you realize that there is a new feature in this new interface. Yeah, can you guess it? Okay, yeah, it's this button here, the open all editor. Okay, so um, if you already knew the, the, the new interface and you already tried the new interface, uh, I guess you already know that there were some features that were not available on that new interface. For example, if you wanted to edit a menu screen or a database screen, okay. Um, for example, let me yeah, let me go and open one app with a database, for example, and you'll see what I'm saying. Okay, for example, I here I have some some. Well, let me remove this. This is from a previous example. Okay. Um, well, here I have a database screen. Okay. So in the past, with the new interface, you saw this this thing, the edit screen button. Okay. So if you press on that that button, you would see a, like a pop up window telling you that you should go to the classic moving cube in order to edit this screen. Okay. And if you press OK then a new tab on Google Chrome would open and then you could edit that screen on the on the old interface, okay? But so you had one tab with the new interface and a different tab with the old interface. And we were always telling you to be very cautious and not mix things and do not edit the same app at the same time uh, in two browsers or on in, the, in, the, in both interfaces, right? So now, if you try to do that, if you click on edit, the all interface will pop up, but in the same tab, okay? This is a window inside the new interface, okay? So from here, I can edit everything. I can still navigate through edition, okay? I can change things, okay? And when I'm finished, I, I just close this window, okay? And I'm still here on the new interface. Okay, so basically this is the way uh, the transition is going to be. So our intention is that in less than two months, we're going to keep adding more, more editing capabilities to the new interface. So we want to add the menu screen edition, um, I think the RSS screens, uh, maybe the maps, the calendars and some other screens. But there are, there are some screens like the database screen that will take a bit longer, maybe one extra month or two extra months, okay? But in the meantime, uh, we want everyone to start working with the new interface. So this will become in two months the main interface of Moving Cube. And those screens like the database, uh, the way to edit them will be like this. Just click here and the, the classic interface will pop up in the same tab, okay? So yeah, and, and in the meantime, you can combine the work in both interfaces, okay? So if you are very, uh, you really like the old interface and you don't want to learn how to use the new interface, even if it's easier, 
okay you will be able to keep working on the new on the, on the old interface okay let's see an example let's create a new app okay so i have here a new app okay and imagine that you don't like new interface and you prefer to keep using the mobile cube legacy interface okay so you just go here and from here you can edit your app the same way you do it right now on moving cube with this old interface okay well here uh, you can see now this horizontal menu on the top okay this will disappear okay when you pop up the the old interface you will see only the things below this dark gray bar okay so you won't be able to change now you can do it but you won't in in one month or so okay now you can go to tools and you can you know switch from sections okay but soon you won't be able to do that okay you you will only be able to use the edit area okay so from here you will be able to add anything for example a detail screen uh, with an image or maybe a text uh, let's say hello world okay um, you can add more screens like website um, you, you know, you, you can just edit your app in the classic way of Mobbing Cube. Okay, and once we, once you are finished and you want to preview your, your app or publish your app, instead of using this preview or publish as in the old way, you, you will only need to close this window and come here to publish the demo or, or publish the final version. Okay, so from the new interface, you will need to do everything related with your app in terms of um, name, icon, description, uh, preview, publishing your app, uh, access your tools like the cloud, resources, uh, all those things, and managing the advertisement and everything. Okay, but only for editing the app, you will have the possibility to, to, to go to uh, to the old interface but always inside the new interface so it won't be possible to open a new tab and access the the old interface in a new tab okay so everything will be done from the same context okay so i i think this is very cool and this will help people transitioning from the old interface to the new one because after they you log in or anyone logs in or signs up on mobbing cube they will only see this new version of, of Mobbing Cube, okay? Uh, they still have the possibility to edit using the old interface, but everything will be done from here, okay? So I think this will help people get used to the new interface. And I guess after some time, you will start just dragging and dropping elements from here, and you will want to get rid of the, of the old interface, okay? So yeah, that that was it. So th that was the way to announce the, uh, the the starting of the transition to the new interface. So I love to hear your comments. So if you have anything to say, just write a comment below this video. And if you liked it, just click on like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be informed of every new feature that we launch. Okay. So yeah, I'm super excited as I said, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.